Mike. Messing with more music. This time, I'm going on the road. Uh, making a trip. Uh, really a welcome change in this COVID world. Um, heading for Singapore and to Dubai. And uh, I've been practicing on my guitar and I just can't, uh, can't give it up for two weeks of traveling. And so I've bought a traveler guitar. And uh, let's open her up and see what she looks like, and, uh, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, well, as advertised, it comes in a really nice little gig bag. Inside that, it's uh, packed in a Jiffy Pop bag. Okay. Protects the guitar in the shipment. And there we are. Now this is the model of a classical guitar and with mahogany wood. Um, it, uh, it just sounded too good to be true. Uh, I, I watched some reviews on, uh, on YouTube and it looked like something that would really work well for me in this little case. Easily fits into the overhead on the airplane. It'll be one of my two pieces of carry-on. And uh, the tuners are down here in the body. Uh, and then they run through, uh, up here is where we tie off instead of the, the bridge at the bottom. The bridge is at the top. It's kind of turned uh, the guitar on its head. And then it's a classical guitar with a, a very soft sound because there's no body to, to give the ambience. It does have an electronic pickup with, uh, it's got a piezo strip here and uh, the piezo strip uh, will feed this, uh, this electro electrical, electronic output um, and we are going to uh, give it a go. I mean, it, it, it comes with also a, uh, in the uh, pocket, I will find a wrench for adjusting the, uh, the neck and this uh, wire piece with a, I guess this is a new addition. Uh, the uh, the uh, padding on there is not in the earlier versions. So we put this on here and uh, that allows you to put it on your knee and play it like a regular guitar. So, um, needs a little tuning. Uh, we'll be back when we got this hooked up to some electronics and we can hear what she sounds like. Hi, it's several months later. I've been on my trip. I took the uh, Traveler guitar with me, um, went to Singapore, went to Dubai, um, played this guitar in many places, including on an airplane. Um, some, some pictures that we'll put on, uh, on this uh, to show you where I was then and what, what, where the guitar has been. Um, this is not the guitar we opened the box of. The guitar we opened the box of had a problem with the, uh, the connection, with the quarter inch connection. It was loose. And um, that was, uh, yeah, that and the fact that the uh, third string was buzzing. It couldn't, couldn't get it out. Uh, you know, took the string off, put it back on. Could, couldn't fix that. Um, so let's take a closer look at this guitar. This, this one is a beauty. It's another mahogany uh, classical nylon. Um, the model is 3587, uh, the ULN Ultra Light Nylon 3587. Um, really, really a nice guitar. I enjoy, have enjoyed playing it all over. Um, it has helped me keep in practice. But let's take a look at uh, what we've got here. You've got the, uh, the head, the machines are all down here on the bottom. You see it feeds through here and then into the, uh, into the tuner block here on the back. Um, it's uh, 
tied off at the top, as we talked about a little bit earlier, months ago when I started this video. Um, so how did I apply it? Well, I used um, this device, which has uh, um, one, two, three, four, five different um, effects. Um, and clean is the first effect, and that's the one that I spent most of my time using. And through a headphone jack. Now, I can't play a headphone jack into my, uh, my uh, iPhone that I'm recording on, but I... I've since purchased a 10 watt, um, and here's a picture of it, the, the Roland um, amp, the battery operated amp. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a sampling of what the guitar sounds like using this through that Roland amp. Okay, and it comes alive. Well. Oh, I need to give it a little volume. Of course, you have to be careful that this has got an amp in it that amps the headphones, and you have to be careful not to over uh, over amp the uh, the feed into the uh, the other amp. But so without a body, um, the sound is pretty much like a guitar. <laughs> Sounds a lot like my classical. Uh, I'll do a little strumming here, just a little uh, to, to get an idea. So the sound, a lot to do with going through here. Sounds better in my headphones than it does here, probably because of the, uh, the tone that's coming out of here. I'm gonna go grab my uh, Cremona and we'll hear a little difference in sound. in the overhead in, a, in an airplane, I would take one of these with me. But in the meantime, the Traveler does a great job. The action is wonderful. Uh, I don't know if you can see how, how, how low that is, but the action is really wonderful. It makes practicing really uh, a dream. Uh, it, it plays very much like my Cremona as far as on the neck. Um, yeah, I can, I can highly recommend uh, the Traveler guitar in uh, they make very um, a variety of them. Um, you know, the one I picked was the nylon classical, but there's others out there as well. Um, if you need something to carry with you to practice with, I highly recommend it. All right, this is Mike messing with music and uh, saying bye for now.